Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and tonight we're going to be discussing diving on into uh, Candy and the Gang uh, season 1 episode 5 it was titled He Looks Like a Snitch Okay Shandrika begins her search for the snitch while Dominique and Brandon decide their fate as a couple Ken and Todd hope a team building event will bring the gang back together Brian's future at the OLG continues to hang in the balance. Okay, now we just gonna make it quick, fast, in a hurry. Cause boy, I don't know about this show. I don't know about this show. Who's gonna really hold our attention? This is like everyday shit to us, you know? And I don't get into the comments and goings of somebody acting a fool on uh at the job. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I keep my head down, I go on by my business, I gotta do what it make it do. Meaning I'm there just to pay my lights, my uh, utilities, my house note, <laughs> my car note, and all my utilities. And my shelter and my food. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. But OLG and Todd Tucker, they got some problems, honey. They got some problems. Can they got no problem. She know how to make that money tree do a win windfall if she needs to, okay? But them three jokers right there, especially Shandrika, we're going to get on her ass and we're going to be pretty much through with her. I don't know where they got her from, but they need to send her back. Okay, if she's not up here trying to pique her interest in the entertainment field, she, they need to let her go. And that doggone snitch, I don't know why Melvin put up with his so-called brother cousin. Because I'm like, we ain't seen nothing too much of Melvin. Hopefully, these last five episodes that's uh, coming up, they'll give us a glimpse. Because we don't got too much of Shandrika. Okay, and I don't even know if June going to come through. Because he look kind of suspect. I mean, he could be bi, gay. You know, a man lover and a woman lover. That's what it. That's what he giving me. But Shandrika going around here acting like a damn fool. Okay, she the one set up there and said the shit. And she was talking to Brandon. Brandon had his phone on speakerphone. And... <laughs> It just is what it is. Then you on camera. I'm like, girl, how dumb are you? How dumb are you? I mean, have you not taken a peek, Shandrika, of what the Real Housewives of Atlanta go through? And then they be in their confessionals. And then when, once it's finished taping, you can see what other people said about you. But they're going to they gonna show you the part where they caught you on camera doing the do. We're just talking about Candy, their business, and Todd behind their backs. So I'm like, child, compliments of none other than Brandon and, um, what's her name? Her cousin, um, that was a uh, Patrick, because he just pussy wolf. So we ain't going to spend too much time on him because he started the mess. But Shandrika should have known much, much better. And she should have played it better. But no, nah, she going to sit up there while Todd and Candy giving her... The 411, the interrogation process, and this, that, and the third. Honey, please. Sean Drake was like, who told y'all that? Do da 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 et cetera, et cetera, blah, 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 okay? No, baby, you set yourself up. In any business, they're going to have security cameras that's worth their grain and salt. All right, like I said, it's more for a theft type of situation. But you just you just get keep getting caught. And it's just ridiculous. I'm like, girl, you stuff there like you want to cry. I'm like, you ain't about that business. If you don't go out like that, they be like, yeah, I said it. And uh, that's what I feel at this time. <clears throat> and I'm sure <coughs> they could have showed her the door quick, fast, in a hurry. But they decide to give her another break. And I'm like, I don't know what kind of establishment <coughs> Todd and Candy are running. Because, you know, it's just blatant, dis, uh, what do you call it, just... Totally blatant uh, subord insubordination in a sense, okay? Because you're lying to the people that are hiring you <coughs> to do a job, which is hostessing. And you ain't doing that too much good. But for some reason, Candy is liking you. I don't know if she tried to be with you, you know, in a personal way or whatnot. Because she bi. Everybody knows she bi. I don't know. It, it just don't seem kosher to me, that whole relationship. But anyway, we're going to get off Chandrika. Hopefully, she will not give us any more to talk about. Okay? We're going to get on Brandon and his non-managing managerial skills. We're going to hyph hyphenate it. None in him that shows leadership or a leader. I'm <coughs> like, where did they get Brandon from? I could see him being a team lead maybe. 
but not assistant manager and definitely not a manager. I'm like, what is going on? But, you know, that was when Patrick and Melvin was trying to tell Shantarika, basically, we're not snitching over him, but Patrick's the biggest snitch snitch there is in the family. But anyway, going back to Dominique and Brandon, hell, they both need to be gone. Brandon does not know how to lead. He just want to be up there getting free food, I guess, and just look like a manager. I'm like, what is his qualifications? Has he taken courses? Have he? Do he have a degree in management, hospitality? Tell me I wants to know. Because every time I look at him, I'm like, why is he here, Lord? Why is he here? Okay, he can't uh, enforce rules and break them at the same damn time. That's too messy. Got his girlfriend up there. She, she definitely got his nose wide open. Okay, he can smell everything. Toxic and uh, tantalizing. But I'm like... <sighs> Where can you get these folks from? I'm like, that's why you're doing real bad in your um, restaurant business. And that's why I haven't catered you just for that reason. It's too much. And um, I, I, just, I, I just don't like it. And I probably won't ever go. My daughter's going around town hitting a lot of little cute uh, spots and stuff doing video blogs. But... Uh uh-uh, uh, I can't come there or to Blaze until y'all do better with those uh inspections. I mean, ain't no sense of trying to charge you no know, high prices and then you got poor uh inspection scores, girl. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, but yeah, that whole gang, it, just once they've been showing us routinely, that's a high mess. That whole restaurant staff need to be whooped up the crack of their behinds and taught some discipline. But it just is what it is, okay? We don't need Philip up there trying to parlay his managerial skills because he needs to go back to school or uh, take a class in customer service and how it benefits both the client or the customer as well as the owners and the people that are serving them it's a uh give and take take and give type situation but it just is what it is honey but yes brandon got caught uh him fooling around in the employee's I don't know what it was, bathroom, or it could have been uh, a storage closet or whatever. But him and Dominique has got it going on, okay? And I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, that's not going to be, that's not a good look. We don't need to have it. Dominique ain't there half the time. So, one of them need to go. Hell, I, I, I pursue, I pledge both of them to go because Brandon is not a leader. He's not a manager. He's just not the material, okay? I can see him working at Popeyes in the drive through saying, May I take your order? <laughs> Do you want spicy or mild? That's what I get when I'm thinking about Brandon being a manager. I'm like, what was his qualifications, girl? But anyway, I'm tired of them getting on Paul Bryan. I'm so tired of them getting on Paul Bryan. All right, I'm like, and then uh, Philip said he gonna leave it up to Brandon to make the decision where uh, Brian comes or he goes. I'm like, y'all had like the boy stole money or something, or stole food. He just got back in the same energy you were giving him. I mean, come on. He goes both ways, but I'm still trying to figure out where's that office that y'all are supposed to be having these talks with your people, your staff. And when you're trying to reprimand them, this, that, and the third, where is the office? Where are the doors? I'm like, uh uh-uh. uh. Too much of nonsense going on. And none of it's believable when we're sitting there trying to, or them trying to pretty much get Brian together. And I'm like, we need to get him together. I mean, get him on off the show because he's getting on my nerves. Just got to, he's just too strong, too strong. And relationships such as him and Dominique, they should not be first uh, fostering and uh, (coughs) festering around there. Because if you do for one, you got to do for the whole team. And we know Brandon, uh, Brandon is not about that life. He's not going to let everybody come and go. He's not going to let them do what they want to do. Come in when they want to. Whatever. Take all the time they need. And they're going to have a job. No, that's Candy. That's Candy. And uh, what's the name? Todd's decision. Really more so Candy. Because she felt like she hadn't found another hostess can do what it do. And she can't find another, you know, bartender to make it do what it do. Because Brian's trying to go through his, uh, what do you call that? 
uh, sobriety or whatnot. So all of it's just a hot mess. I'm like, just fire everybody to start all over. Don't let and then fire Philip too, because we don't need him as the GM. He's still stuck on his high horse, thinking he shouldn't have to come down on his horse to meet up with the peasants to try to get them in line. So I was like, oh, ho, 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 ho. okay. Anyone that's still true to fashion to me in my eyes work is Brian and Torin. They still they they came in telling who they was and they hadn't changed to this point. Okay, but the rest of them, uh. Girl, they got spots on them, okay? They got spots on them. But my mama Joyce came through. <laughs> my mama Joyce came through and burnt, um, burnt through like she died of the shit. She ready to go home. I don't know who brilliant ideas was this. But Candy and Todd and uh, the management team, Brandon and Philip, they thought it would be a good idea to have a team building on the outside where they can work together, function together, and think they're going to do better when they get back. I'm like, Candy, that is playtime. When they, you get these same folks back up in that business and people feel they ain't doing what they need to be doing, you're going to have the same shit that you left with prior to taking them out. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you should have had this exercise. You should have closed the restaurant for a day because, you know, you don't close it before. Uh, when your health inspections were going really, really bad. So you should have closed the door and did your little tricks of the trade in the uh, actual building. But, you know, it's a cute scene. It's neither here nor there because those people are not going to change. But Mama Joyce said she wanted Todd. If they lost, many Todd's team, she wanted him to get his ass up in that kitchen. Because Mama Joyce said she'd be slaving in that kitchen. She know what it is. That's some hard ass work. I said, come through, Mama Joyce. But I just want to ask you one question. You're retired, right? Candy takes care of you because you her boo thing. Okay, you her mama. You her everything. I ain't got nothing wrong. I don't have any uh, thing to say about that. Candy could spend her coins on whoever. And I'm glad she dropping all of them or majority of them on you. Okay. But Mama Joyce said she can't stand Todd. <laughs> Mama Joyce said she can't stand Todd. Todd is still full of shit. She can't stand him. And she said half of Atlanta can't stand on me. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, Mama Joyce. Now, Mama Joyce, I'm glad you're coming through. So, you're telling me, Mama Joyce, it ain't paradise over there with Candy Dodd. Do Candy need to be a little bit more transparent and give us a little bit more of that tea instead of this restaurant shit? That ain't going to hold people's attention for too long. I mean, we got to have some type of foolish, fake, refrigerant, fucker stuff going on. And we don't want to really see the people that she's trying to put on. We don't really want to see the staff. Not really. No, no, no. It's good for a first season. But you got to come with some more if they give you a second season, girl. That's why I said, I don't know if there's something that it's going to be, um, um, uh, Something you could just turn into a three or four or five seasons. I, I'm not getting it. Unless you're going to have the old LG women up in there. You're going to have Mama Birth, uh, Mama Nora. Well, I don't think Mama Nora have any kids. But you're going to have the three aunts up there and your, the two aunts and your mama. Because, honey, they the glue that's holding this shit together. Because when Aunt Bertha said she arrived there to be the referee and all that kind of stuff for the games. She wasn't playing the game. But she said she'd give her just a little time to help the little kitties out. But she said she tired of this shit. She ready to go home. I said, Aunt Bertha, you ain't been here for 10 minutes. She said, fuck that. I'm ready to go home. I said, okay, my Bertha, you got a hot man waiting on you. Girl. Tell us. Give us some tea. Okay. My Bertha, I'm going to go home. <laughs> Go ahead, Mama Bertha. Uh, Bertha, come through with the come through. But we had, we had Mama Joyce. Mama Joyce was getting up in Todd's ass. And I was enjoying every minute of it. I, yes, I would. Yes, I would. I was like, mm-mm. Just something about Todd Tucker hiding behind Candy. Candy trying to get him accolades. He was responsible for this, this show, and that, that, whatever, you know. But I'm like, girl, Candy, it's you. Your name is going to be dragged through mud. This shit goes left, okay? And you, we up to season five, and we really ain't said nothing. We ain't seen nothing. I mean, Brian gave us a great PSA, personal service announcement, about don't do drugs, okay? And don't overindulge in alcohol. So that was good. We learned something, but... Girl, what else you got to give us with this show? Because if you don't have Mama 
uh, Joyce and Aunt Bertha and Nora. Shit. Aunt Bertha be picking them up and laying them down. You know, picking up and laying them down. Wasn't that a song, y'all, back in the 70s, girl? Yeah, I got like a brick house going on. Brick house my mighty just letting it all hang out yeah man, that's what my birthday was saying shit i gotta go home and get in my my uh night clothes shoot but oh my lord when mama joy said she can't stand <laughs> i'm like wait a minute now i thought everything was smooth over i thought y'all was smooth sailing girl now you're telling us something different how she said she won't tart up in that kitchen. He don't never be in that kitchen. He don't never be sweating. He don't never be doing anything but bossing people around and thinking this is supposed to happen, that's supposed to happen. But he ain't brought his bestie butt up in there. And Tar was kind of feeling some way. He told me it ain't my passion. This is not what I'm doing. I'm like, what is your passion, honey? We still trying to find out. Damn, you don't been married to Ken about twelve plus years now. We still trying to find out what is your specialty. What is your Shin, what is your fun sway? What who are you? That's what we're still trying to figure out, Todd. All right, that's what I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still looking for your tractor trailer, your 18 wheeler that you're supposed to have been doing business in. I'm still looking for Tucker Todd Tucker Enterprises doing something. Okay, not under under candy, not something candy's promoting, but I'm just saying you, you, you. I'm, I, you're invisible at this point. You're still in her shadow. And I be wanting you to pull up. Because Mama Joyce be ready to knock you down six feet plus six more. And I'm looking for 24 feet. That's how deep I want to bury you. But it is what it is. Okay, Candy love you. Candy taking care of you. And this is what Candy wants. Not what we want. Okay. Even Mama Joyce sitting up there saying it every day she see Candy. When you gonna leave that brother? When you gonna leave him? He ain't doing nothing. He just holding you down, baby. He just holding you. I can see my mama Joy saying that to Ken all the time. And Ken like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. And moving on about her business. Because you know she ain't gonna straight her mama out. Even though she should. Lord knows she need to put mama Joyce in check sometime. But I'm gonna tell her it'd be a hot mess. And I'll be laughing all the way down to the ground. <laughs> when mama Joy be saying, the streets of Atlanta. Okay, the streets are talking. Todd ain't worth shit. Okay, that's what. Yeah, that was like too much to be. I was too much to be tired. But then we got to go to the last part. When they were showing us. Okay. Uh, Riley had brought herself home. She girl is a sophomore now. I said, like, God damn, I'm getting old. Candy said she getting old too. That's what our babies just grow up b before our eyes. Once you once they get out of high school, it's a wrap. Then that shit just be whooping around. These years just be coming and going, coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. And honey, Riley said, Hey, we got to do something about that restaurant. Cause Tar said we got five kids, five of them. I mean, it's a five of them. So we got Riley, we got Ace. We got no we got before got four kids running around now okay and um toss one of these out of these four somebody's gonna come up and do something with the restaurants the legacy we leaving them i said no nah, just like you say it's not your passion hell it ain't kayla passion damn sure ain't gonna be um uh ace because he's trying to get into the acting business like his mama okay I, I don't look like Blaze. She look like Blaze just want to eat. <laughs> Blaze ain't trying to do nothing. Okay, but get y'all together. And Riley, she's like, mm-mm, mm-mm, that, that's not my shin. That's not my front sway. That's not me, baby. But everything you do and the shit be hitting, uh, hitting the fan and everything going south, they blame my mama. And that's not right. You got to start taking up some, some, you know, uh, slack or whatever. That's what she's trying to say. Then Kayla gonna come around, Todd's daughter, and say, well, he can't put all of it on him. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Now we got the siblings rivalry going on. We got Kayla versus Todd. No, I'm sorry. Got Kayla versus Riley. We got Todd, baby. We got Candy, baby. Ooh, shook it, shook it. Oh, my Lord. How my cousin said. Damn, what that word? He said, shuck it, duck it, quack, quack. <laughs> shuck it, duck it, quack, quack. Woo, show you right. Okay, and like Mr. Big said, speak on it. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, okay. 
I was waiting for Todd to go slapping out the jaws. But we see next episode, he's going to have his little bitch butt in that kitchen. And he's going to see. Well, you know, Todd always be doing something. He, I think he's a more gorilla type person, you know, on the outside. And we don't know what he be doing to that food. He could be burning half of it up, but they won't show us. Because they don't want to embarrass Todd. Because we know Todd don't do nothing but know how to eat. That's all. And that's why I say, I don't understand why he came up with this restaurant idea. Thinking like he's going to have the uh, old lady gang up in there. Not just giving their recipes, but actually in the kitchen. And then trying to do promo, too. I'm like, Todd, Todd, Tucker. Little tiny Todd, Tucker. Those women... You see those three women on that board or that wall? They are in retirement form, okay? They didn't care that you used their recipes. They didn't care that you used their face. But one thing you would not do is try to make a senior citizen work after they don't retire. Are you kidding me? And that's what Mama Joe was trying to tell them. You don't lost your damn mind. Ah, you spending all my daughter money. You making all these decisions that she's half-heartedly going along with. But this is some bullshit. That's what she was saying. This is some bullshit. Okay. But we see next time. Like I said. Todd is in the kitchen. And it don't look like he know what he's doing. How he's doing it. And it's just a hot mess. That's why they're in a restaurant uh, inspection situation that they're in. Where they can't even pull up and get a solid well-rounded B. Okay. Ho- try to hold on to that B. Now nah, they still doing C and D work over at the restaurant. And we see why. Okay, we see why. But that's all we had of season one, episode five. Looks like he, well, he looks like a snitch, okay? And we already know who the snitch is. We already know who the troublemaker is, all right? Now, whether they be on season two, if Candy gets one, I don't know. Because like I said, the show is just, ah, it's not keeping me, guys. It's not keeping me. If you ain't got uh, Mama Joyce on Todd ass, like she said, Ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, ain't no river not wide enough to keep me from you. Ain't no mountain high enough, yes, nothing's gonna keep me from getting in your ass. That's what she was trying to tell Todd Tucker when he was trying to sit there and marry Um um can at the time. <laughs> and she's still on that ass. Two children. Uh, and some years behind him, <laughs> she's still on his behind, okay? And I'm there for it. But those two, they both need to go. They need to go on off the show. They don't got their time because Dominique just want to get what she wants and has live her passion, her life. And she wants to dance. Being a bartender, that's a secondary to her. So we need to go on. Candy, you need to find another bartender. You need to find another manager because he's so stuck up her ass. We don't even know if he's coming or going. Then she's talking about she's going out to London to dance with Rick Ross or some, something he doing over there. She's going to be done find her millionaire over there fooling around with her traveling times. And she's going to leave Brandon in the dust. Because I know Candy, she, she ain't paying that much money to Brandon. No, sir, no Lord, no God. I'm like, Brandon, if you want her, you probably need to be her assistant and travel with her, baby. Because mm-mm, y'all too piss poor together. Y'all just too piss poor together. But that's all I got, y'all, for this particular episode and season uh, of Candy and the Gang. You like it, love it, gotta have more. Get down in those comments. Make sure you share, like my video, and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Okay, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.